Hello, my name is Paul Shea. I'm a volunteer here at the Cold War Museum. During my career in the government, I spent 30 years as an imagery analyst in the CIA. My name is John Suter. I volunteer here at the Cold War Museum as well. My background is in aerial and satellite photography. This section of the museum is dedicated to aerial photography. We have samples of film on these light tables here and we have some pictures up hanging on the wall from the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. From the aerial photography, our photo interpreters were able to tell that the missiles that were on the ground in Cuba were nuclear-tipped intermediate-range ballistic missiles that could reach into the continental United States. These pictures were taken by uh, reconnaissance airplanes, RF-101s, which were flown from Florida across the Cuban territory to confirm the presence of Soviet missiles on Cuban territory. After the film was developed, it was brought back to Washington, D.C., where the CIA did the exploitation of the film. It was exploited at the National Photographic Interpretation Center down in, uh, in downtown D.C. The results of the uh, exploitation were taken to the White House, presented to President Kennedy at the time. The, through imagery analysis, it was discovered that there were SS-4 ballistic missiles in Cuba along with nuclear warheads. The result of that discovery drove Kennedy to made, make a decision uh, to blockade the island of Cuba until Khrushchev agreed to remove the missiles. This is simply one of the many stories that we have to tell here at the Cold War Museum, so come on out.